smoothies with honey, chocolate, strawberry, raw protein powder, bananas, cacao nibs, and cacao powder. Last day of eating raw and we're going to a raw vegan cafe to celebrate and we're gonna eat some good food. How do you feel yeah. after your dinner? I feel like the burrito wasn't that good, but like everything else was like really good. I honestly liked everything. Where? The dessert, raw exactly. vegan cheesecakes and cakes and like lemon that? bars. So good. I am full. I'm satisfied. I'm not I need full. To go home. I'm not hungry. No, I'm like at the perfect full. Yeah, oh I feel good. Sure. Like the no burritos more are not good. No, but I thought they the were salad fine. was good. The apple fruit salad was good. The nachos were good. I'm very picky, and actually, I liked everything except the burritos. Probably just because the nachos were made out of the same um, flax as the burritos, and I was kind of like overwhelmed. So yeah. <laughs> so we just finished eating completely raw for five days, and we're just gonna talk a little bit about how it went and how we felt. I felt good, like I didn't feel tired really or like drowsy. I felt pretty like normal for the most part. Um, I would just say like personally, I like eating cooked foods here and there and I kind of like eating like a blended diet of both of them um, throughout the week. So I definitely miss my cooked foods, but I think like I felt good and clean. Um, well today's two days after we finished and honestly I've still kept eating raw for breakfast and lunch because it felt so good to me throughout the week like I just had so much like good energy and I felt so like clean after each meal like sometimes I'll like have Chinese food that's completely vegan and gluten-free and whatnot and I'll still feel kind of sluggish after eating it but I didn't feel like that after like any meals Monday through Friday and my only like takeaway was one day I think it was Wednesday we had um, kale salads for lunch and then we had another um, raw dinner that was like super high in fiber mm -hmm. and I felt like I had something like stuck in my chest all day um, and I think it's because I had so much like raw veggies that were like not chopped up super tiny so 
I think what I really loved was having like a big bowl of fruit in the morning or the cereal bowl with like a bunch of nuts and seeds and fresh berries and then having a big smoothie for lunch because it just goes down so easily mm -hmm. and energize you, energizes you and makes you feel super clean and good. Yeah, I think like I'm kind of just gonna listen to my body and like if I want to eat raw until four because I ate pretty much raw until four for like a month and it was like good. But sometimes I want like a warm bowl of oatmeal in the morning. Or so. like an avocado toast, which like I'll yeah. have every once in a while. I don't like consistently have yeah. that. But I would say my stomach though did change a little bit. Like I felt like I was, a, I think I, my stomach was like trying to adjust to eating all raw. Yeah. So it kind of like took a moment, but I feel like if I kept eating raw, you would kind of get into like the groove Definitely. of things. Definitely. I think eating raw is just such a good way of living life. Like I'm 100% for it. It's just, we both like having like cooked rice and yeah. veggies for and dinner. Beans. And potatoes. Yeah, and canned beans, like throwing those There's in our meals so and stuff. Potatoes. But I definitely support the raw way of life and I do believe 100% yeah. that it cures diseases. You could just like feel how good it feels to eat raw, but I wouldn't say that it's a good thing to dive right into going fully raw because um, it is a little different on your digestive system and you definitely feel like when you have, if you have like two salad based meals, or um a day you can definitely feel that like in your chest but i love the raw till four thing that we picked up from earthy andy or just like eating mostly raw throughout your day like an 80 20 something like that i love that idea and then if you really want to go fully raw because you're loving how you feel um then you could dive into it but i wouldn't um it's a nice cleanse but i wouldn't just all of a sudden be like okay i'm 100 percent raw it yeah. was like pretty hard on our um Mm -hmm. But we got used to it and we yeah. really liked it. Yeah, it felt good. Okay, so we hope you guys enjoyed watching our little going raw journey. And we will catch you in our next video. Thanks for watching.